We will show you how to change an outlet and put a GFCI in there instead. Usually your panel will be located either in the um, closets of some bedrooms, one of your bedrooms, utility room, or a garage if you have one. So this particular one was in the garage. This particular panel was in the garage. Now I just gotta find where it says kitchen and flip the switches off. Now, usually it has a flat head for the most part on all the face plates. Take the face plate off. Before you do anything, have a tester and check for any power. If there's power, it will make a beeping sound and turn red. If the outlet has power, it should sound like this. Once you check for power and made sure that there is no power, it's time to unscrew the two bolts that are on top and bottom of the outlet. So once you're done um, unscrewing it, just before touching anything else, make sure it is not hot. Um, the black ones, the black wires will be the hot wires. The whites will be neutral so they wouldn't have any power. Um, but this one is all good, so we're going to start taking it apart. When I take off the wires, I like to place them in the same order, top and bottom. Um, I like to put the outlet back together, the new one, the same way it was here. So that way it should work that way. So once you get the outlet out, you get the top wires to go to the top, the bottom ones to go to the bottom, and we're going to reconnect it the same way. We're going to be putting in this GFCI right here and as you can see one side is taped that's if you had only one black wire and one white wire you could just put them on top but since we have two wires we're going to take this tape off and put the bottom wires in the same place so the GFCIs usually are the wires are straight so we're just going to snip all these off then I have a handy tool here that will thread the wires Once you got the thread off, now you're ready to put the new outlet in. So on the new outlet, you got gold nuts and you got silver nuts. And we want to use the black wire to go on the gold ones and the white neutral wire to go here on the silver ones. And then your ground is that green one on the bottom. So we'll start with the green. And then we'll work our way to the whites and then the huts, the blacks. Once you got the wires in, the white ones to the silver, the black ones to the gold. What I like to do before I put it in back where it's supposed to be and put a cover plate over it, I like to test it to make sure that there is actually power going to this outlet. So one, once you got it all ready, turn the power on and, and check if there's power going to it. And if there's a light on the GFCI that turns green, that means that the outlet works. So you are ready to put it back in its place. Once you got it all back together and the green light is still on, that means the GFCI works and you did a good job. That's how you change a GFCI or an outlet. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I will try to answer it. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel, everybody. 
I appreciate every one of you. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe and like this video if it was helpful. And you know somebody that needs to watch this video if they're trying to do outlets by themselves. Thank you very much everybody. Have a nice and wonderful day. Bye.